Yeah, first off, I wanted to just, you know, take the moment to thank our fans. Um, I, I, I'm not on social media, and I've pretty much been, you know, off the grid for the most part for the last three years, so I haven't had a real chance until now to, to interact and to talk to the fans. So first off, I wanted to just acknowledge them and say thank you for, for, for all of the support. Uh, you know, from the very beginning up until the, fan, you know, the newer fans that have joined, you know, along the way, and um, we would not be able to do what we love to do without our fans. It would be impossible, obviously. And um, the relationship with the fans, you know, from the very beginning was kind of the, the main piece that reinforced for us that we were doing something right, that we were getting feedback when we were trying to get a record deal, when we were trying to book clubs, when we were trying to do all the things to succeed, we were getting rejected over and over again. And there was always a reason, like, you guys, you know, got to change this or change that. And the fans were there from the beginning, and they were, you know, telling us, we love your music, we love what you're doing, keep doing it. And it started, you know, in, in my apartment on email, which email was kind of like a newer thing to be emailing back and forth at that time. And so I was emailing along with other guys directly with the first five fans, the first ten fans. And then it came down to, well, we had a little bit extra money, let's make some, some demo tapes and send those out to our fans. And then, you know, maybe those fans can pass out 10 or 20 tapes to their friends and they'll be, maybe be interested in the band. And that's really how our fan base started. It was really a grassroots thing and it was really personal. So we had communication and contact with that fan base and that grew into a street team of, you know, where it was more intentional when we got signed to a label to have that fan base really support us. And so it really is like the, the lifeblood of what's behind our music and gave us the energy and the passion and, and, and just the the ability to persevere through all of the obstacles. And I can say, you know, to anybody making music or doing anything in life that really wants to, like, push forward, um, you know, there's a lot of obstacles that come along the way. And we were we were rejected probably, you know, we were rejected by every major label. And back in those days, there was a lot of labels. Um, and we got rejected by, you know, probably 20 labels once. And then we, like, went back for round two and got rejected again by all 20. So... You know, we, I don't see how we wouldn't have given up along the way if it wasn't for our fans. So thank you to all of the fans that have been with us from the beginning and welcome to all the fans that are just kind of joining and discovering the music now. That's great advice. And I was actually going to bring up the process for you guys to realize, for people to realize that you earned everything yourself. You guys did like over 50 showcases 